Welcome back to Planescape Torment. Uh, I just finished recording a still live video, and now we're gonna play some Torment. Uh, as I as I mentioned, uh, if you didn't watch the still live video or you don't watch those in general, um, I'm still alive. A B. Um, yeah, you'll notice that my face, if you, maybe, is way more uh, orange and warm because we changed the light. The light died, and it was it used to be white light, uh, and I bought a new light. And it's orange. It's like a warm color. It's like a yellow light. Um, and so I changed the. Luckily, my boy webcam's pretty good, so it has settings. And I changed them a bit, like especially the white balance. And uh, from my limited knowledge, but what you're trying to do is make your skin look like a human being. And hopefully, I've managed to do that. But it's still like all of my background is way more, way warmer, which I like. I mean, I like warm colors. I'm wearing red and red, and the couch is red, and everything's red. Um, but yeah, that's the change. Uh, and now we're gonna go to the right and talk to people. And what was the name of the city? Right, Lenny Lothar. All right. Lenny Lothar? Oh, we need to go to Lenny and Lothar and stuff like that, but we also need to talk to everybody here. And this door is locked and God's been guard. Boring better to be my ticket to Ascension. Okay, let's talk to Anazi. You see a sickly Gethzerai woman. She's hunched and bent, and her constant coughing is obviously a source of pain to her. She holds a handkerchief that is particularly soaking with blood, tissue, and felgum to her face. She spies you and hisses. Greetings. She stares at you and speaks a few mumbled words to Dakan. Dakan glances at you. She says she cannot understand your speech. She says she is dying. Uh, then maybe you had better just kill her. Make it Benful, though. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be a total ass. Uh, okay. What's she dying of? Her name is Ana Anazai. Ana Anazai. Uh, she says she used to work for a meat curing house here until a half month ago when the illness became too much for her to bear. She was abandoned, evicted from her home, and left for dead. Speech pains her, and her illness has crippled much of her mind. She says there's nothing she can give you of value. And? Know that she will not recover. I can put her out of her misery, that is all. As a zerth of the people, it is my responsibility to provide an alternative. Um then be merciful? The Khan draws his blade and waits for the woman to prepare herself. She touches the unbroken circle of Zerkamon he wears for a moment, and her face is stoic. His blade is a blur, and when he completes the stroke, she lies bleeding on the hardstone of Sigil Streets. Well struck, let's go. Updated my journal. And she leveled, which is... I kind of want to... Okay, so here's here's the thing. All right. Um, I don't want to gain experience until I freaking find the skull. So... Did they they said it was uh, a wrecked house. I think it was this one. I remember bottom. That's what I remember. I remember bottom. I'm just gonna try and go there right now and just get my goddamn skull back. Where the hell is Mort? So let's let's actually just try and get Mort back before we get in any more experience. Mort, not Mort. Like I don't know if this is the correct place, but we're gonna try. The unusual window allows some light to filter into the room and casts a strange colored shadows across the walls and floor. Uh, whatever purpose these barrels once served, they are now just floats and strewn around the room. This appears to be a ladder constructed from the bones of many creatures. Bones? Good. We're looking for bones stuff. Oh. Shelf of skulls. Thanks to the power you're here, chief. Get me out of here. Okay, that's more. What are you doing up there? Uh, those word vermin nicked me and brought me here. Come on, boss. We gotta get out of here. This place is bad news. Why don't you just float down? I can't. I've tried. Come on. Get me down before... Oh, hello. Lothar. There you go. A flash of light and smoke blinds you for a moment, and withered old man stands before you. Have we visitors, Skull? Oh, no. Mort whispers fiercely to you. Do not offend this blood boss. He'll, he'll deadbook you faster than you can spit. The old man ignores Mort. Greetings, traveler. Who might you be to enter Lothar's humble salon without invitation? Um... My pardon, sir, but you seem to have something that belongs to me. Ah, uh, yes, what may that be? A skull that belongs to me is on that shelf. My friend Mort wrote up on your shelf. Uh, you want the chattering skull with half the grace and manners of any ordinary creature. Give me a greater skull in return if you wish it back, Lothar replies. I do not need to bargain for something that is already mine. He was never yours, or anyone's, to begin with. Your ignorance is astonishing. You truly know very little about very little. Now, fetch me another skull to replace him, or say farewell to your friend. Fine, then. How do I get another skull that's worth what he's worth? Mort, move aside the divan in the center of the room and pass through the portal on the eastern wall in the chambers below to the catacombs. The portal will remain active for your return, and the catacombs, many skulls. One of the great value 
lies within the interred crypts of the dustmen beyond the drowned nations. Bring the, 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 the dustmen beyond the drowned nations. Bring the skull to me, as my wear-out minions have failed to do, and I will see to it that your friend has returned to you. Perhaps I shall even answer some questions. Speak of. Uh, I have been to the tomb you speak of. It is empty. My journal. 30,000? Holy crap! But give me more before that! Oh my god. Well, I guess it's still good. Uh, what is the meaning of this? The tomb was so well trapped, so well defended from scraying magic, that it was a challenge even for me. There must be some explanation for this. And he draws out his words angrily and slowly. You will provide it to me. Go through the portal below and seek the answer. Um, I believe it was a trap to disgorge the grave robbers who prey on such crypts. It was my own tomb. Your tomb? Your tomb? He eyes you carefully. We shall investigate this more carefully. Fetch me another skull then, as you seem attached to yours, and we shall see what answers I can provide. Our agreement shall be as before. Do not try to deceive me with just any bone either. I am something of a connoisseur. Return when you see something of value to me. Updated I feel journal. stronger. Yeah, everybody freaking leveled up when you get 30,000 freaking... Oh my god. Okay, I need to find a skull. And it sends me to the catacombs, which is good. It's a shortcut. Um, and everybody freaking leveled. Well, that's... D d yeah. Mort is going to be so freaking far behind. So you didn't level, actually. But you're close to leveling as a mage, which is cool. I leveled. I always level. Uh, four hit points, one characteristic point. Spell memorization is increased. And we get a bunch of other stuff. That's nice. Oh, and we get to do this. Boom. Shmakalaka. So we're going with wisdom. Heroic proportions. Yeah, we're going to go wisdom, uh, and we also would like charisma to be 18. So the ne next I will go to charisma and up that to 18. That's what we've decided to do, and that is what we shall do. Kablam. Uh, now, we got level 1, no, level 2, level 3, and we get level 4. I need to get some level 4 spells. What does this do? Yeah, magical axe, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Okay, he also has level... Like, we need... I need some freaking spells, dude. Find some spells. Uh, Anna, let's level you up. So she she probably leveled both as a fighter as a thief. Plus one fist. Uh, I don't think that matters to me. Saving throws have improved. Fighting skills have improved. 20 skiff points. Uh, yeah, and a bunch of hit points and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, she's just stronger in every way. Uh, detect traps is probably the most useful. Pickpockets, I don't feel like I need that much. Um, and opening doors... Opening doors is pretty good, but so far we've sort of managed to get by by bashing stuff. I really don't need stuff. But yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. I think this feels pretty good to me uh, to do. Yeah, she has number of attacks one and a half. Her Thaco is 16. His Thaco is this, pretty much the same. And for me, I have a... So Thaco of 16 is not that bad. Uh, my number of attacks is only one because I have, I'm a mage now. So I don't know if the, the fighter... I don't know exactly how it worked in terms of the fighter that was there before. Uh, but she doesn't have any plus to anything else. Actually, the Thaco... Oh, there you go. To hit and damage. So to hit is three and damage is four. She has two and two. I have to hit one. Just like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah. He's still much stronger. Well, he has 18 strength. And she's... Well, she is a fighter technically as well. Ah, whatever. Current state luck bonus. Cool. Everybody leveled up, except for more. Um, All right. This container is locked, so bash it like I'm forced it. Like you care not. Skull. I don't. I don't. I don't need this skull. Skulls are I'm not useful. I'm gone. Click. The strangely shaped skull emits a high pitched chitter before it speaks to you. Can I help you? Who are you? I'm g g goat scum. I was a were rat. Were rat? How many were beasts are there, anyways? Oh, g great number. Ravens, wolves, bears, badgers, and even crocodiles. It's like all the animals in the beast lands have a lycanthropy counterpart. It's quite interesting, really. What rarits are around here? Uh, there's Mantuk and his band. I made him, and what does he do? Goes and sells me to Lothar. That's okay, though. I spilled all his secrets to the boss. Mantuk may think he's safe, but Lothar knows everything. What can you tell me about Mantuk? The sodding hedge wizard, the bubber. I made him what he is today, years ago, when he was a stinking biped. I'm not gonna b -b -b biped. I'm not gonna stutter through it. I'm just not in the mood for that. I found him and made his leg a snack. Tasted like pickled meat. I was drunk for days. Then he shows up. Then he gets some fancy book. And I'm yesterday's trash and a decoration on a shelf. 
bastard. Do you know any of his secrets? His secret is that he works for both Lothar and many as one, the Cranium Rat Hive Mind. I don't know what he's planning, but it doesn't matter because I told Lothar all of it anyway. I see. Thanks and farewell. Uh, maybe Mantook is one of the. I mean, it makes sense that I can get Mantook. What can you tell me? How did you get here? What can you tell me of the other skulls? Uh, they're almost. They're all most judgmental, just because they were mostly human skulls, and they think they're someone better than me, and I hate them. That's a healthy attitude. Tell me about yourself, why don't you? Um, you must like Lothar then, right? Ghostcomb's skull falls entirely silent. If it had eyes, you're sure they'd be rolling around in terror. Go away! <laughs> he refuses to speak to you. No. Um, other skulls, they're judgmental and mean. Okay. Well, he told me about Mantook. I don't know if that's... Super useful, but let's talk to Mort. Thank the powers you're here. I'm working on it, Mort. I'm working on it. The skull's voice is low and raspy, the sound of flint and steel. I think I've seen you before, stranger. What have you? Where have you seen me? Cursed. Gate town to cursory. Cursed? Gate town? Cursory? What are you, clueless? It's a gate town on the rim of the outlands, the doorway to the prison plain of cursory. It's a place of backstabbers and traitors, and it's full of schemes as a Biatsu's undergarments. Being right next to door to carcery uh, is apt to change a borg's nature. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the town were about to slide over. Slide over? What do you mean? When a gate town's beliefs get too much like the plane it borders, the force of that belief is enough to make its bordering plane swallow it whole. Happens all the time, at least when the anarchists are involved. He speaks the last with a kind of grim pride. Tell me about the anarchists. We are a secret society. Uh, cells of members who work alone or through directives based through the network of informants and leaders who remain hidden. Our goal is to tear down the power structure, to free people from the lives of politicians and powers, to let all lead their own lives of their own volition. We work in secrecy, worked in secrecy, and changed our routines constantly to avoid infiltration. My time was decades ago, and so all the secrets I knew are no longer valid, except for the faces I can remember, and even those must have been changed by now. You sound like a paranoid bunch. If a society you belong to thrived on intrigue, infiltration, and the hatred of the established power mongers, you'd be careful too. It's not paranoia when they really are out to get you. In our line of belief, someone involved in a triple cross is an amateur. The skull regards you evenly for a moment. I think I'm done speaking with you. Farewell. It's very interesting. You've seen me before. Where? Uh, what was I doing there? What were you doing there? You were babbling something about some burke trying to kill you and wandering into all the wrong places. Well, you were obviously barmy and all, so me and some of my friends rolled you. Stuck a shiv in you and divvied up your stuff. Divvied up your stuff. It was right after that that I was betrayed, but not before I hid some of that stuff. Where is it? I ain't telling. Maybe someday I'll get a body back and go for it myself. And maybe I won't, but right now it gives me great joy to see you wondering. Good luck finding it. The skull falls silent and no amount of cajoling can convince it to speak again other than clicking this button. Um, tell them about the other skulls. Them? They're all tools, though they, know, they don't know it. Their dreams are small and personal. They do not see a larger picture in their schemings. They do not see beyond themselves. They are worthless. I do not speak to them. Um, so then how did you come... What of Lothar, then? I've spilled the dark of many secrets, but that's not one I'm willing to sacrifice. I've seen horrors in Lothar's hands that will put the Harmonium's rigid rules to shame. He knows my secrets far better than I know his, and I'll be damned if I'm giving them for anyone. Even you. Especially you. Why? What do you know about me? I've already told you your friend there most of it. You're important to Lothar somehow, and there's something about you that he wants to understand. You're like some puzzle. He's interested in you, Boyo, and he wants his questions answered. He'll be keeping an eye on you. I also know you're a far traveler. You've been... You've been seen before. Where are you? Okay. What was it doing there? Where is it? Bastard. Um, tell me of yourself. Me? I'm Grimsculp. Used to be an anarchist, one of the Revolutionary League. We had secrets and cells. We were going to to topple the nature of the planes so everyone could live in freedom. We had the dark on some of the factuals. And we're ready to make a move, but then we were betrayed by another faction. I wound up dead, and Lothar wound up collecting me for my secrets. Good thing most of them are out of date by now. There ain't, uh, there ain't no resisting Lothar's charms. What can you tell me of the anarchists? Thanks. Well, he's not going to tell me anything more than that, apparently. The container is locked. Well, apparently I can pry it open with a frickin' dagger, and it has a skull. Shocking. Screw you guys. Okay. The skull speaks with a deep voice and a jocular tone. Have you come to learn the truth? I have truth aplenty. Um, tell me of yourself. I, I am stern. 
I'm, I'm also stern. One of the great practitioners of personal peace through intensive redirection of hostilities. A hiss escapes his skull's teeth. You mean you're a wizard, an assassin, and a poisoner. Um, however you choose to define it, Grimskulp, stern... A hiss escapes this skull's teeth. You mean you're a wizard and... Like, who? Like, he, he he's talking about himself? Like, I'm... Um, however you choose to define it, Grimskulp... Um, oh, Grimskulp is talking about him. Uh, however you choose to define it, Grimskulp, Stern turns his attention back to you. I was the best of the lot, so it said. And how did you wind up here? Jesus. Skulls tell many tales. Uh, funny you should mention that. I had a black book given to me in order that I might puzzle out its secrets. I unlocked its powers for a terrible price, one I would gladly pay again, and sharpened my edge considerably. Little did I realize that the book would betray me to another, a mewling rat thing that overwhelmed me in a wave of rodents and tore the flesh from my living bones. Man took. The rat went through a series of, dis of disciples, each of them betrayed by the book, until it wound up in the possession of the rat, rat man man took. If you find this book, accept its power and be rid of it before you suffer the same fate. Um, well then, what can you tell me of the other skulls? Okay, Updated tell me of yourself. My journal. I am Stern, the great practitioner of personal peace through intensive... Oh, they, they updated my journal? Now it updated? How'd you wind up here? Uh, my thanks, what can you tell me of Lothar? What can I tell you of Lothar? I will tell you nothing. Even this bare existence is better than the oblivion he promises should I speak his secrets. You can tell me. You get the distinct impression Stern Skull is sneering at you, and gain merely your friendship? Bah! There is nothing you can offer me, no service nor item, that will impel me to betray Lothar to you. Be gone. I will not! Okay, can I talk to you again? Cool. Um, <laughs> what can you tell me of the other skulls? Of the skulls that will speak to you, I can offer no good words. Their experiences have not been shared with me. Indeed, we have spoken precious little until your arrival, perhaps. Uh, it says a smirk in its voice. There's something special about your very presence. Um, quite right, and you're about to be depraved of it. Farewell. <laughs> All right. Well, they tell me some things. I, I guess I really want to find Mantook. I hope I can now do that, because I was pretty much everywhere down in the catacombs, but let's find out. The skull exhales languorously and speaks in a sultry voice. Why do you disturb my rest? There has been so much happening of late, and while I become the sensation, uh, welcome the sensation, I must confess the desiring to sense of quiet. The sense of quiet. Tell me about yourself. I am, I was, ocean before the storm. A senate. Now, alas, I am merely decoration. A senate? What's that? A senate is a member of the Society of Sensation, one of the factions of Sigil, located in the Civic Fest Hall in the Clerk's Ward. Uh, which holds that the universe can be understood and manipulated only through the senses, and therefore we should accumulate as many varied experiences as possible. I believe I've reached the quota on sitting on a dusty shelf. My boredom threshold is low. Can I do anything for you? No, but you're kind to ask. Once I threw myself off the shelf and shattered, next thing I knew I was back on the shelf and we were all glued here. Where Lothar tires of me, he'll dispose of me. What are you doing here? Why, I sit on the shelf and gather dust until one of Lothar's rat minions takes it into his head that I need brushing. I answer questions for Lothar, and that is the extent of my miserable existence. No, I mean, how'd you get here? It's a long story, and I'm not supposed to say anything to you about until it until you've completed a task for Lothar. What could he possibly do to you? The skull stares at you, and you get the impression it's shivering. There's a remarkable amount of pain one can feel without nerve endings. Not all pain is physical, and not all emotions mental. Those are sensations I do not care to duplicate. It pauses. This interview is at an end. Farewell. Okay. Uh, what is it about to... What can you tell me of the other skulls? Oh, they're nothing... They're nothing to relieve the tedium. You have Goatscomb, the Were-Rat, Grimscomb, the Anarchist, Stern, the old wizardly assassin. I don't know what Stern does, but he's basically evil. Evil? Bah, I'm merely a pragmatist. Pragmatist? Is that why stabbing someone in the back so often seems to be the answer you present, you present to problems? It is not a fine solution. It's always worked for me. Poison and magic work equally well, I've found. Ocean before the storm turns her attention back to you. You see? Basically evil. Uh, tell me about yourself. Why I sit on the shelf? What sort of questions? Oh, all sorts of things. Experiences I've had, the politics... The politics of the Senate, sadly out of date by now. Impressions of people who pass through here, and words, words, words. The questions vary, which I appreciate more than you know. If you don't have anything else to ask me, then I believe I'll resume my, qu I'll resume my quiet. Farewell. Okay. Well, the Skulls are not the nicest people in the world, but... 
Kill Grossak the Abishai for Sebastian. Find a skull of great value. Lothar suggested I want an answers to require. I must pay the price of skull of great value. Um, Stern, the assassin skull in Lothar's library, has told me of a book that man took the wearer carries. He was warned me to beware the powers offered by the book. Okay. Um, this will go up here. This is a doorway to... This is a teleport, I guess. I'm going to save. I'm going to go up here first. This is his, okay, we're just going to try and open some of these. Nothing. Everybody managed to bash that open, and it has absolutely not. I love the fact that there's, like, locked containers with nothing in them. Uh, but, okay, let's go to the catacombs, and, I mean, I already did everything in the catacombs. Catacombs again. Bones of the Night. Catacombs below Bones of the Night to the wrecked house. Catacombs below. Oh, this is where we are right now. Okay. So we're still we're still here. There's a where at and there's Okay, we can continue exploring this area. There's where rats, where they live. There's a bunch of were rats. And there's Mantook! Oh. Hello. So Mantook is right here. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. 100! Mantook. We've been playing for a while. Let's talk to one of them. Yeah, they don't really say anything. There's a lot of were rats here if I want to fight them and grab Mantook. I mean. Will Mantook be okay? Can I can I kill killing Mantook is legitimate here? They oh they they're not letting me pass. Well, this is inconvenient. And the game crashed. Uh, okay, I just quick saved and sometimes it crashes. Come on. Close the program. Don't send report to Windows. Okay. Let's get dormant. Happens, doesn't it? It does. It's fine. It's not a big deal as long as it just, you know, we boot it back up and it's just fine. Okay, we were just here. Done. Let's go talk to Mantuk. You see, half-man, half-rat hybrid, its red eyes gleam with a certain cunning, and the voice that issues from its mouth is oily and insinuating. So, a biped comes slinking into the nest of Lothar's servants. I guess he doesn't remember me. What do you want, man, and where do you intend to go? Step lightly, intruder, and speak the truth to Mantuk. I'm on a quest for Lothar. I'm looking to retrieve a skull. The ratman ducks his head to the mention of Lothar and hisses at you. Send a hairless one to do the job of a kin. Impossible. He said you were worthless and he needed someone he could trust. That was me. Mento kisses you again. Be gone then, and return when the skull is in your hands. He pauses and looks at you suspiciously. Have you a skull yet? In fact, I do. And you retrieve the particular skull the master wants? Uh, not yet. Then fetch it, biped, and do not return until you have it. Do not keep the master waiting. I won't keep him waiting much longer. Okay, Mento moves, and then they move as well. Um, or I'll kill you where you stand. No, man thing. I think I will do the... I'll be the one doing the diet... I will not be the one doing the dying today. I should pride the skull the master desires from your cold, dead fingers. Kill him! Kill him! Just kill him quickly! Yeah! Okay. See, he's dead. Bam. Easy. How much experience do I get? A bunch. Also, I, there's a lot of rats around me right now. Swarm. And I can't see anything. Uh, I'm so zooming in. Them. Kind of want to do like acts of torment on something. I will hear you. Can you run away? No. What was that? Was that, did, the, did everything literally just stop because it was doing Acts of Torment? That's amazing, that would look badass. Ready. 
I'm just gonna, like, I went into this. Oh god, no, 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 run away. No, Anna's dead! Okay, they're all dead. Um, okay, but now I can move through here. I'm gonna do that, and then on the way back I'll kill Mantook, because I need to go back through here anyways, right? So I'm gonna go down to the catacombs. I do want to go see what happened to, what's his name? Uh, Farad. Where are we going? Oh, there's the portal. Okay. 101. Portal time. I just, I want to do this as soon as possible so that I can get, uh, uh, uh do that. And then we'll have to, yeah. Where are we? Okay, we're over here. All right. That's nice. Oh, these freaking things again? Oh my god. This... Come on. Critical miss. Stop doing that. Stop critical missing. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so I'm actually just gonna use this as like a quick way to get over here. <laughs> Cause I can, so it's like, Done. gonna do that. You guys are still here? My god. Forced it. Can't just folly. Can't just folly. How are you doing how are you so bad at hitting stuff? You're supposed to be not bad at hitting stuff. Mister. Okay, let's do quick loot. Alright. That is fine. Two to two to two to two to two to two. Yeah, we're just gonna save and we're gonna go in here because we saw a cutscene where he died. So I'm like, what All the right. hell? Oh, there he is. Duh! What happened? Who's done this to you? No. Frost crotch, bronze sphere, rags, and everything. My inventory's full. Cool. The bronze sphere. Oh right, I'm super full on everything. We do need to sell stuff. There's this crap you can sell. Rags uh, go here. Dirty rat charm. Bandages. Rod's crutch. Uh, two to seven. The rickety wooden staff has a cross piece nailed across the top. The cross piece is wrapped in rags, presumably to keep the damn thing from jamming too sharply into Farad's armpit when he leans on it. The crotch, not surprisingly, smells terrible and every inch of it is covered in dirt, sewage, and various unidentifiable stains. Something about this crutch makes you wonder. Despite its fragile appearance, it was held up rather well, and you even test it with your weight and it holds you up without as much as creaking. Consider for all scavenging nature, the crotch might have some value beyond its surface appearance. It might even be usable as a weapon. Not usable by mages. I'm gone. Yeah. Do we have any... So now that I have the crutch, can I... As you approach the archer, it begins to shimmer faintly. You notice forward crutch and meets a similar growth. Touch the archer with the crutch. Yep. Farad's Vault. Uh, achievement unlock, Old Stutter Crutch Sword. Done. This looks like it was once a gallus pole, not only a lantern hangs from it. The lantern sheds a soft yellow radiance. It doesn't flicker like a torch or candle flame. I'm gonna go around. Do, 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 do. I hope I have enough room for stuff, because we're going to have find a lot of things in here. Probably. Oh boy, we are. I'm going to have to throw so many things. Cheese! Cheese is great. These alcoves contains books, books, and more books. They're indexed and placed in order um, among the shelves. Some crap. Some nothing. Books. I'll take that. Magic Missile, I'll take that as well. Blood. Tear. Heart. Blood. Okay. This one... Somebody has a corpse. Blood, blood, fly. Scroll of Chromatic Orb. You have... You don't have Chromatic Orb. He has Chromatic Orb. One second. Both of you should have chromatic orb. Already. Yeah, so it just, it doesn't tell me that it's like, that you don't need it really. Uh, I'm gonna give her all these useless keys that I'm keeping for no reason. Um, because that I might just throw because, before we'll get too stuck. 
of things, I'll just be... I'll just throw me. I don't want to, but I will. Uh, okay. Uh, you have no room for anything, pretty much, but that's fine. And so you um, can take stuff. I'm gone. Okay. Great vault so far. I, wait, did I check this one? I did, didn't I? Of course I did. Yes, I did. I am a smart smart. These beams look centuries old and look hard as stone. Some money, but not a lot. Scroll Swarm Curse, which is a great spell that you already know and that you now know. And you needed a level three. Oh, it's level two and whatever. Fine. I, I, I don't have a lot of spells. I would like more spells. So. Shelves has books. Shelves has books. Come on. I want the big things. I want the, 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 the big find. Shelves, shelves, shelves. Perhaps this was once a library. Yay, some materials that I totally always use for things. I wonder how. I wonder what's the limit for stuff. I've got 60, 80, 80 of the cranium rat charms. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. This place is big. Ho ho! Stinger earrings, two to armor class and against our attack. That's awesome. The stinger allows it to bond to its new owner. They awakened. The earring helped protect the wearer from attacks, giving the wearer's skin the same strength and durability of the larva shell. So he cannot wear earrings, which is very unfortunate because the earrings are great. Uh, and you have a chained teeth earring, and now you have this, which gives you even more stuff. Open lock skill bonus. Will only add to your open lock skill when they are equipped. Yeah, duh. But GS plus two armor class, which is great. That's awesome. That's fantastic earrings. I approve. That's hard to click. A glass eye. Angelus Eye, uh, plus one to armor class versus missile, minus one to armor class versus crushing, plus ten to tech trap skill bonus, and Thaco is plus one. I think I might take this. Seems poor replacement for a real one. However, when inserted into an empty socket facing inward, its power awakens. Um, question eight, however, some of the fragility of the glass eye can be transferred to the wearer. Can you wear it? I'm the, I'm the only one who can wear eyes, apparently. It's your eyeball. Seen better days. I mean, Detect Traps doesn't help me much, but the armor class is nice, and the Thaco is also nice, so whatever. And of course, I'll keep the rest, because... Yes. Okay, so we found a few magical items that weren't complete crap. That's nice. Portal back to Fraud's Court. Okay, that's also good. But is seriously, this is all? I expected more. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, seriously? Is that all? Uh, no, not yet. This is the... Oh, there's an archway over here. Yeah. That's how you get back. Is it really everything? This wasn't much, dude. <sighs> Boo. I should have expected more. I really did. Is it here? All right. Well, Fraud's dead. And that's pretty much it. There's not much to it, is there? I really feel like I missed something. Please let me know if anybody knows if I missed something. I'm gone. Let me know because it feels like I did. Man, it does. I'm okay. gone. Um, yeah, I don't need this. I'm just gonna start selling stuff. I've got too much crap. Tome of Bone and Ash. Throwable at once, but it looks like you could refer to certain sections when the need arises. I'm just gonna keep that. All these runes. 
probably might as well sell, but I don't want to. <laughs> um, embalming fluid. Yeah, it gives you some... Usable only by Morton. Name this one. Well, Mort's not around, dude. And this is a bunch of keys. And a hammer. Yeah, okay. You don't have anything useful. Angelus Eye. Oh, well, now I have one of those. Huh. Divine Sensor. Invokes raised dead. I don't need that at all. Nope. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I'm gone. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna go rest because he took damage and also I want all of my spells back. Thank you. Uh, yeah, specifically my spells are like, I gained more and stuff, so. So that's cool. Okay, let's take save, fight the thing, the three things here that spawn indefinitely. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, you're, you're not fighting me because Farad is dead? Is that the reason? The door is locked. Yes, pry it open. Forced it. Can you just open the door? And just run, just go. I don't care about fighting three idiots. I'm gone. Okay. So, um, one or two. Find a skull. Jesus. Why kind of skull do I like? Mantuk is over there, and Mantuk should have a skull. Like from everything that they've told me. I guess the many is one. If I return, they'll fight me, right? They said that if I'll return, they'll hate me. I guess one of the skulls in the... Um, Dead Nations, that's the name right. I was looking for that name. In the Dead Nations would be good as well. For them. But yeah, Mentuk isn't here. I don't want to fight the were-rats now. Man. But I don't want to fight anybody in the... In the, I'm gone. In the Dead Nations. Like, they're nice people. <laughs> um... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore those. I'm gonna go, also I'm really hungry, holy crap. I'm starting to be super hungry. <sighs> okay, let's try to finish stuff quickly. Knifed cool. So, what we're gonna do, look at the meat. I'm gonna try and talk to the people here and see if we can do anything. There was the dude, and there was, there was like the main good, and then there's, Swago is the where at, and there's like these two. I should be able to kill Swago, right? I remember that when we killed it. Swago? Swagiko? As if for some time there is there is no sun king. I was in a chamber and saw your journal. Updated my journal. What the? Okay, and then he immediately attacks me. That's not, All right. I remember that. But we could tell Hagrim about him? Um, we're in need of healing. Could you help us? Oh, he actually just has stuff. Wow. For money and he just does things. That's really cool. Didn't know that. Did you know that he was a staff? There's proof in his quarters, his journal. My journal. Wait. Now we got experience. Because I didn't do that before. High Priest of the Sound King. No, Hagrim, I would never presume. Why is thy journal? Let me see it. Prove thy... Before the eyes. I beg for your mercy, Hagrim. The dead truth shall protect thee here, Swego, but thou shalt never leave these catacombs. Blah, blah. Ghoul, see this man never leaves. Allow him to speak to no one. Bring him. But you can't. Ah. Turns into a wear -up. Micro words. Living. Only the truth protects you. I won't be caged. Die. And he murders him instantly. It is done, then. May the Silent King protect us. Cool. I guess. He doesn't say anything? But can I grab his skull? And is that skull enough? Yes! His skull! I remembered that you could get his skull. Yay! I don't know if that's enough though. 
Like, is that a good enough skull for him? I'm gonna assume it is because I can take it. Um, this skull was attached to Swigo's body before the accident. Uh, I did get experience for that, and he is a spy for many as one who hates me, and I like these guys, so I don't mind doing that. I'm gonna hope that this is enough. I do want to kill uh, Mantook because I've heard good things. <laughs> I've heard good things about Mantook being, uh, being dead. So, that sounds nice. So let's try and do that. I mean, it, it seems like we managed to kill Mantook and then there was just a bunch of were rats that managed to eventually kill me, but... Um, yeah, so let's let's see if that's enough. Oh my fucking god, these things. I'm just gonna... Just gonna, yeah. I'm gone. Okay, thank you. Um... Kill man took. I'm looking for the person in charge. Very well. Talk to Lothar. Particular cut yes from a where at. No, I think I'll take it to him. Myself. You misunderstand. Perhaps your pathetic diseases affect your hearing. I said I will give the Lothar the skull. As my betters, I suppose it is your privilege. It is no disease, it's a blessing. I'm far greater than you, a thing more corpse than a man. Um, I suppose it is your privilege to squat in the sewers, feast on filth, and the occasional debtor to stay alive and dress in a resplendent rags with your naked scaly tails dragging in the muck behind you. Your vermin, shadows of people, desperately wishing to be human. Pathetic. As you speak, Matu's eyes glaze over in rage. Wordlessly, he hurls himself at you. Better you alone than you and your friends. <laughs> oh, uh, oops. Yes, I didn't quick save. I kill man took. So I can kill him and make him really angry at the same time, which sounds like fun to me. But yeah, so I kind of want to just make her have as best armor class as I possibly can. Um, maybe this is just smarter than anything else that I'm trying to do. Ring of the Traveler, and this is a twisted ring. So she has a twisted ring already. No, she has this. So I kind of want to... So now she has armor class minus five. He has crap, but it's minus five is really good. Uh, is there anything else that I can give him? This gives you armor class. She has that already. And then plus two to armor class. Of greater wording. I wonder if I can do this. Yes! So she's at minus six now. He's at two, but she's at minus six. So I'm just going to put her front and center and see how we do with that. Maybe that's just smarter than all of the other alternatives. Um, maybe. Might as well. So I'm just gonna put her over here. I'm gone. End your will. Cause like it's nice to have it round about, but honestly, on a tank. But it's much nicer to just have a, a singular dude and just make everything attack him. Um, retrieving a skull. He could trust that was me. Hand him the cheese. Would you like some cheese, Mantook? Hisses you again. Be gone then and return with the skulls in your hands. Have you a skull yet? Hand him the cheese. Would you like some cheese? Mantook snatches the cheese from your overstretched hands and sniffs it suspiciously. He hunches over it and says, Go, Outlander. We will speak when you return. He follows him, nibbling his cheese. Enjoy, Mantook. Oh. Get away from me. Try it. Okay, I don't like giving him a cheese. <laughs> it's really funny you can give him the cheese. <laughs> Uh, who are you? I am Mantook. I am the voice of many in one and the emissary of Lothar, Master of Bones. I speak here and you answer. What do you want? You're for both? Doesn't that test your loyalty? And why should it, hm? The Master knows the secrets of power, and the many know the secret of the city. Perhaps someday I shall play them against each other and become the greater for it. Many as one sees many advantages in such an arrangement, and the conventions of the buried village dwellers can help to extend the reach of Lothar and many as one. All benefit, yes? Now what is your purpose here? I seek the master of this place. I'm just looking around. That is unacceptable. You must have a purpose in Kinsnet. Then I'll leave. Yes, you will. Return or you shall suffer. Whatever. Um, get out of my way. Yes. From a where at? Give it to me and I shall take it to the master. Your services are no longer required. No. I will do that myself. You misunderstand. Perhaps your pathetic disease has affected your hearing. I will said I will give it the loaf of the skull. Um, let me buy... Lothar promised me safe passage. If you stand in my way, he shall hear of it, either from me or from my skull, should you somehow succeed in killing me. Then I shall kill you and bury... Okay, uh, basically we're gonna fight. 
shocking, and that's what I wanted it to have happened. Okay, both of you, let's cast the spells. Let's let's take this seriously. Do this. I hear your words. And you do Scripture of Steel, which I didn't do before. Okay, he's going directly for me for some reason. We're gonna do Acts of Torment. Slash, slash, slashity, slash, 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 That's so cool. I love it. Mantuk is injured. I want to do it again! Do it again! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Look at that! He took one damage. <laughs> took one damage. It was like, everything turns amazing and just blah, blah, blah. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. One damage. He made, he made both save spells, so... What can I say? That was very good of him. Um, yes. Please cast the spell again on that took. Thank you very much. And you can cast a chromatic orb. Okay, my took is badly injured at this point. Uh, they're all still taking damage, which is great. We are really trying to murder that guy, and he is resisting death, which I will have none of. Kill him! Nobody took damage yet, so I'm happy. Um, yeah, do the last of this. Oh, he suddenly deals 19 damage. Well, he's dead, and that's his book. And I don't get a skull, so I guess I'm not getting his... Well, I have a skull, so it's fine. I hope the skull is fine. <laughs> Uh, cool. Endure. I'm here. In enduring it's unfortunately had to deal 19 damage to me before that. It's so freaking invisible. Like, everything is so difficult to freaking see. He also took damage. I will Finally. From the dead in a place like this. There's a bunch of wear at skulls. I'm assuming they're not going to be useful. I'm gone. Oh, hey guys. Wait, I'm just going to... Eh, I'm going to run away. Oh, well. Never mind. I want to save. Okay, fine. We'll kill you. They shouldn't be tough, especially if they're coming one by one. Go attack it! Like, I'm clicking it and they're just like all hanging out and just standing there. I like the fact that I can collect stuff while I'm while I'm hanging about. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that we kill everything. Yeah, they just hang out until he comes over. Very strange, but okay. Yeah, and there's nothing here. Well, Mantuk's dead. And we got his book, which we should be careful about. In some capacity. So we're gonna save. Uh, level you up. Saving throw spells, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he became a strong gourmet, which is cool. Where's Lothar? Upstairs, maybe? Uh, Mantuk's book, Talk to Item. The grimoire of pestilent thought. The blackbound tome seem to radiate a slight rotting smell, and the covers are unpleasant to the touch. Like uncured human flesh left out in the sun, rusted buckles on the cover seal it against the elements. It is the grimoire of pestilent thought, an arcane tome created ages ago for purposes unknown, the purpose of which is to teach mortals the nature of evil. Some sages warn against its use, while others urge it. It is said to grant mighty magical powers with, when services are performed for it. Okay, uh, we're going to talk to it in a second. First, I want to get my goddamn skull back. Give me more You have returned. I have the skull of Swego, the were -right dustman missionary. Lost item, gain experience. Lothar takes the head of Swego from you and examine it carefully, checking the teeth. A dustman missionary and spy, eh? This will be satisfactory. His fingers twist through an arcane gesture. Your friend will be waiting for you above ground, where you came in. Have your answers from me. I have many questions. 
Keep it quick, scarred one. Yeah, we're just gonna do this and, and grab up it. I cannot tarry all day. Why am I immortal? I my journal. Your mortality, your soul, if you will, that which allows you to live and die, is gone from you. It was stripped from you by magical means, by the night hag Ravel Puzzlewell. Your mortality is the key to your existence. When you find it, you will find your answers. Tell me about this Ravel. Ravel Puzzlewell is an enigma, even among the night hags. Some would call her Barmy, others say she plays a deeper game than any she than any can see through. She's evil, through and through, making his making the fiends you'll see in the area seem positively divine when compared to her. She is out of the reach of men now, thanks thank the powers, for she was mazed by the Lady of Pain. Mazed? How do I find her? Mazes are like pocket dimensions, small places between places. To reach one, you need to find a portal and a key. I do not know where the door or the key are. Perhaps you should seek some of your old acquaintances. You have certain left you have certainly left a trail of them behind. They will find you, no doubt. Pray they mean you well. Perhaps you should visit the Civic Fest Hall. They have many answers for you. What did Ravel do? Updated my journal. She was a maker of toys and puzzles, a solver of problems that didn't need solving. She decided that Sigil, the cage, was the largest puzzle box of all, and set herself to undo it, to let it uh, to let in the armies of fiends at her disposal, no doubt, to upset the balance of the city and turn the entire burg into a charnel house. Pray to any power you hold dear, with thanks she did not succeed. I will find her, then, and force her to return my mortality. You again, what do you want from old Lothar now? I have given you your skull friend and your answers. I warn you, I, have all, I haven't all day to attend to you. His gaze falls on you with the force of a sledgehammer. I would like some more questions answered. Keep it quick, scarred one. I cannot tarry all day. Um... Why have I lost my memory? It is a side effect of losing your mortality. I have lost my mortality? What do you mean? Uh, live That which allows you to live and die is gone from you. Who? Uh, what did she do? Yeah, it's just repeating the same things. Very interesting. Um, I just wanted to talk to you some more. He stares at you and you find yourself gone. Skills have increased. Oh! Achievement unlock friends indeed. What's up? Your skills have increased? He's gained experience? He's at 67. I mean, he's le at least he's leveling up to level 6. Yeah, it's not that bad. Good. That's actually good. I didn't know that that happens. That's fantastic. Hey, Mort. How you doing? He's stronger now. Cool. Um, and he has an inventory slot. <laughs> Yes, he has inventory slots. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy. I just wanted to chat with you some more. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Um, yes, I do want to go back in, though. And talk to the things, of course. I'm gone. Can I continue talking to him? Yes. I wish to avail myself of your healing powers. Yeah, he can just heal you for a bunch. Buy, sell. Oh, he does sell some stuff? Oh, maybe he sells scrolls that are... Spells! Oh my god, spells. Why can't I do this? Usable only by priests. Okay, so all of these are not useful to me. Um, remove curse. Usable only by mages. It is level 4. Allows user to copy the spell. I'll take it. Move a curse upon the person targeted. Does not remove the curse from the actual item, but it allows the person to successfully unequip and rid themselves of the cursed item. Hold undead. Hold undead is great. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna give them to Mort for now. Bye. Like, yeah. Why not do that? That's, that sounds good to me. Uh, cool. I don't need him to identify anything. And that's about it. But now I can talk to these guys. We're at 54. I kind of want to... Ah, there's so much I want to do. Ah. Also, Mort should be ahead because he's... The... I want to... Okay, one step at a time. Calm down. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Everything's fine. So, Mort. First of all, give me this and give me this. This is remove curse. This is hold undead. You do this, and you do this. For no particular reason, remove curse is not a spell you really need most of the time, but it's useful to generally have, and I don't really mind having it. <sighs> okay, dirty rat charm needs to go over here. 
Thank you. What the hell's going on? Okay. Um, all of these we can put at Mort. So he's gonna be the bloody guy. Okay, can't you can't put that there? Hey, come on! Boom! You have teeth now. Teeth of the Viper. Uh, there was also the teeth of Ingrid. Or what's her name? Or did I sell that? I don't even know. Um, mm, 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 mm. Other useless crap. Yeah, all the charms. He always held all the charms, and I like that. That's fine. All the things that have numbers on them, except for these, which is fine. Ingress's teeth. Hey, come on. Yes, but I want you to be using hey, these. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Uh, yes, that is on you. And all of this as well. Cranium Rat Charm. Okay, she has these. That's fine with me. These are two different things for some freaking reason. Iron Pry Bar. And she has all of the tomb keys, which we're just going to keep there because whatever. Uh, 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 you have cheese. Just going to keep the cheese here. This is a piece of cheese. Like, thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely. Um, okay. And Fraud's crutch, which we're going to keep so that we can always go to his, to the vault. Which is useful. Have it done. Okay. A little bit of inventory management, good. Now, actually we can do this next time. Uh, let's just talk to Mort and see that he's okay. Yeah. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Tune him back again? Can you tell me a bit about Sigil? Mort, I don't mind you tagging along, but is there anything else you can do except chatter? Uh, you said you're a mimer, right, Mort? What do you know about Sigil? There's nothing to say? Still with me. What do you know about the Night Hag Ravel? Well, she's a night hag, and she was significant, definitely barmy enough to make you immortal, of all people. I mean, she could have chosen me, Mort rolls his eyes. Still, anyone added to enough, added enough to lock blades with the Lady of Pain isn't someone we really want to find. I see. Add some other questions. Um, yeah, he's just not saying anything. Hey, chattering's my best trade, he rattles his teeth for a moment, then grins. Eh? Eh? Oh, that's good to hear. I know about the litany of curses. I'm more curious about what you've got... Well, you were at Lothar's. Well, I made some friends when I was sitting on the shelf in Lothar's waiting for you to bail me out. Thanks for taking your sweet time about it, by the way. They said if I needed any help, I could just call on them. Friends? What do you Updated mean? Updated my journal. Oh, cool. Uh, well, I just whistle and they kind of show up. They're a good bunch of bashers. Bite like snakes, too. Mort now has an ability called Skull Mob. When invoked, you can summon a horde of skulls from off-screen to come and bite an opponent multiple times. The strength and damage of the skulls varies according to Mort's level, and the power can only be used a limited number of times per day. That's awesome! Like, that's great. I'm glad I, I asked. Um, you said you're a mimer, right? Yeah, a mimer is a floating encyclopedia. You put information in, you get information out. I see. Ask some other questions. What do you think we should do next? Um, uh, how'd you die, Mort? No idea, Chief. I kind of forgot when I died. Can't say I blame myself. What happened to your body? I see. Ask some other questions. Hmm... Mm. Friends, what do you mean? They just show up, blah, blah, blah. Good to hear it. So he has Skull Mob. Uh, Mort can summon an avalanche of his friends from the bones of, of the night to come and take a bite out of the target. Magic resistance does not affect this ability. The target gets no saving throws against this effect. The Skull do 1 to 4 hit points of normal piercing damage per Mort's level. Mort can use, only use this ability once per day. Twice per day. <laughs> Done. Uh, that's really cool. Okay. Uh, so next time we're gonna talk to skulls. Click seven. Talk to skulls. Yeah, we're gonna talk to all the skulls and then go outside and talk to other stuff. Uh, man, so we did we did quite a lot and we did kill man took. Oh, and there's also the book. We also need to kill the, to, to deal with the book. Wait, I want to put this in here or I'll forget. Save. Yes. But I wanted to overwrite that. Okay. Uh, talk to... Can I? Talk to skulls and book. There you go. Overwrite. So I want to look at the book and I also want to talk to all the skulls. Then we can go outside and do the other things and start gaining experience. Uh, luckily, I'm, I'm really happy. Oh my god, he's got so, I got so much XP. 
I got a hundred k. I wonder what the, the the XP limit is. I mean, eventually we'll stop leveling as fast, but this is still very manageable. Uh, he is very far behind. He's forty k behind, uh, which kind of sucks. And she is at she is at fifty k right now, which is nothing. She's even further behind. He's at 80k, so he's, like, approaching. They're all behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the higher level you go, the actual level differences are not that much. I mean, he's level 6'6", six, six, and she's 5'6", and more to 7. It's not a huge deal, but I'm 8. We shall see. Okay, uh, let's be done for today. Thank you so much for watching, as usual. Uh, and we'll have uh, another one uh, next week. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. <laughs>